So now that you know about coping strips, I want to show you how it applies to the quilt that we've been making. A few episodes ago, we were working on the flying geese for the Learn to Quilt quilt. So these are the flying geese that we made. And when the flying geese were made, they are not the right size. They're all, they actually, I planned it to turn out a little bit smaller so that you could add coping strips to the sides of the block to make them the exact size that we needed them to be. So for the quilt that I'm working on now, these are the flying geese that I made earlier. And now I'm gonna add hidden coping strips to the right and left side. So I just added a two inch strip to this end, a two inch strip to this end, pressed them out. Now I'm gonna trim those down. Oh. So now it's trimmed. And now I can add an accent coping strip. So here's the hidden coping strips, the same color as the background fabric. The red coping strip is the accent coping strip. Now I can square the block up to its perfect size. And in this case, that would be a 14 and a half by 16 and a half inch strip. So I'm gonna again, look at the ruler, kind of analyze the way the ruler is on the block. This block is supposed to finish four and a half inches, that makes two and a half inches, the middle. So I'm gonna put the two and a half inch ruler right in the middle of the flying geese. And then from end to end, I need it to be 16 and a half inches. So if I have about three quarters of an inch here on the right side, and about three quarters of an inch on the left side, straighten everything out, cut on the right, cut on the left. And this kind of time we can't just spin the ruler, we have to actually turn the block around. Now we can tuck the block right into that 16 and a half by 14, four and a half. Measures up beautifully. Cut on the right and down the top. And now my flying geese are ready to be set into my Learn to Quilt quilt. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We wouldn't want you to miss a single show. Please share us with your friends and leave a comment. We would really love to hear from you.